good morning, almost noon. <clears throat> I'm going to take a tour around Salem, Ohio here with the fall leaves and everything. <clears throat> then we'll head down to Lisbon and then Beaver Creek State Park. It's around the north end of Salem, it's just uh, 10th Street West coming up on Jennings. Do a quick tour here and we can finish it up with the second part, maybe on the way home. That way we don't have to circle all the way around the entire town. Yeah, we'll just do a quick through the center if we can. A lot of traffic. Oh, Tesla. Coming out of church. Oh, Jesus. Speaking of church. So, the sounds you hear are uh, sounds an electric car makes so people can hear it since it's a silent runner. Uh, lots of torque and speed at low ends. You have to turn eco mode on. We don't need all the speed this thing puts out. Even eco mode, it should have another reduction besides that. A lot of people out and about. Uh, 71 2 used to be uh, along the railroad under the bypass, designating 71.2 miles from Pittsburgh on the Fort Wayne Railroad, which was Conrail. Uh, somebody took the sign. I guess their address is 712, so, uh, usually hard to make a left turn here, so I think what we'll do is go up this street and zigzag over to the main street, <coughs> so, second street, used to be Green Street in old days. Third Street used to be High Street. Huh. Well, I think we can make a left here. There's a subway up another block on the right, on the left side. And a Chinese food place that's been here for a long time. It's really good. Chevy dealer. <clears throat> this is Howard. Ben Howard for years. It was also the dividing line for what used to be Main Street and, uh, I think Roosevelt Avenue, Roosevelt, one of those streets, and then past Lincoln was uh, McKinley, so this street used to have three names, Roosevelt, Maine, and McKinley, so the intersection Ellsworth used to be uh, Ellsworth on the left and Depot on the right, now it's north and south Ellsworth, it's green. There's only three colors. Pick one. <clears throat> More Sunday drivers than I'm going to do today. Downtown Salem, Ohio. Wow. With the winds and everything, look at that. We're actually behind on the leaves and stuff. So I've missed the leaf photos for so many years in a row now. I think it's been four years since I went out and did leaf photos. So. Sometimes the rain knocks them down, sometimes the wind, but it should be enough to enjoy today, and we'll just, wow, that's a lot of traffic. That's a big line of traffic. We might just head uh, south to Lisbon, and uh, that'll give you a, yeah, that's a quarter mile of traffic. South Lincoln. 
This used to be Lincoln. North Lincoln used to be. <laughs> that kind of skate. Another assassinated president to the north. <laughs> and Garfield. <clears throat> now you get to go through the historical district. So the stop here in red, and it's put back a ways. There actually used to be a moving company to the left and up on the hill uh, decades ago, and that was pretty much the only truck traffic that went there. Because <clears throat> the route out of town to the south had a low overpass bridge. Another Tesla. So we've seen a black one and a white one so far. I still don't know all the model numbers. And just like our street decided to increase the speed to 35 here. So, um, let's see where we're at. Yeah, we did a parcel charge overnight and uh, put a little bit more on some bar. We were planning on taking a trip to Pennsylvania and person we were planning on meeting said uh, they're going hiking with another couple so Thursday would be a good day and I'm going to buy a, a Lawson four stroke antique outboard from the early 50s from them hopefully so uh, we're at 249 miles and 99% uh, charge Well, coming out of the south end of Salem, and oh, we got police lights or something like that. <laughs> Here's the tracks for the old Pittsburgh Port Wayne Railroad, which became the Pennsylvania Railroad, then Penn Central, Conrail, now Norfolk Southern. employer which pretty much why I laid down puking my guts out for 11 years all right well we might as well leave it on maybe oh they're actually directing traffic for a church what in the world and some beautiful colors along here coming back into Salem still
left them the law used to be a Studebaker dealer way back in the day.
So this is Centennial Park, named because it came about around 1876. Good sized park, yeah, it's a swimming pool, tennis courts, baseball, several pavilions. They made people get carry out food, eating their cars at the park there. Some women sitting on a park bench enjoying the pool. straight ahead and to the right it was the Salem drive-in when I was young the screen back up against the trees here business end of town and head back into town and then I'm going to call it a day and go home. Then over 61 miles today driving around the county. We covered Lisbon, Beaver Creek State Park, a little bit of sail on the way out, a little bit of sail on the way back in. with the phone. So the 
dermatology building. It's got the first quick charge for electric cars. Just wait for it to be turned on on the left here. Blink. And then Ford. Dealer on the right has got a level 2 charger. Uh, you can charge. Maybe come eat Mexican food here. Or there's a Wendy's, an Arby's. There's a Japanese place and a Chinese buffet and a shopping center on the right. You come back to the front end of the hospital. scout on the left. Don't see too many loves around there for a very long time. see some colors better up the street here and we'll take a look down the road see which way has the best colors for the leaves Pretty good either way there, better to the right. And we'll get this way since it's heading home. The road's a little hard on my neck. Used to be a big estate, you can see the wall back in the 1800s. And a lot of times those places were too much to fix up and too much to maintain and too much to heat way back when. So there's a tower and the wall remains. There's like a door on your right you can see, I think, that's uh, bricked up. Pretty interesting place. <clears throat> Maybe it was the Brooks Mansion or something. Yeah, it's the high school.
tour of a bit of sale. We'll add it to the one we did a couple hours ago. Uh, yeah, post them both together on YouTube. Yeah, horse door come across the street as part of the Underground Railroad. <coughs> and I hooked up with the one owner right here that my parents moved to in 69. There was a tunnel under the road. Long, long ago. Well, that's about it. So thanks for riding along with me. And we'll make some more videos to see what the colors are like. And check out the other videos we have. We do a few different types, and there's always no rust studios. Have a great day.